Welcome to today's Straight Up by edX Live with me, Lovely Majumdar. Before we begin, our hearts go out to people affected by Cyclone Mikjam. Here is a list of helpline numbers provided by Greater Chennai Corporation that one can seek help from. A recent revelation of data in the Lok Sabha, Subhash Sarkar, on December 4th, showed that more than 13,600 reserve category students dropped out from central universities, Indian Institutes of Technology and Indian Institutes of Management in the last five years. The statistics came in the form of a written response to a query raised by a Bahujan Samaj party member in Lok Sabha, Ritesh Pandey. But let's have a look at the statistics of the students that have dropped out of these institutions. In the case of central universities, as many as 4,596 other backward class students, 2,424 scheduled caste and 2,622 scheduled tribe students dropped out in the last five years. In the IITs, 2,066 OBCs, 1,068 SC and 408 SC students dropped out. Similarly, in IIMs, the figure remained at 163, 188 and 91 for OBC, SC and ST students respectively. Sarkar stated that no such data was available for the national law universities as the data on this is not maintained by the central government. The education minister also clarified that the reason behind the multiple dropouts could be the availability of multiple options at their disposal and their migration to a different course or a program in a different institution of their choice, or due to personal reasons. Let's hear what Kiran Kumar Gaur, the president of the All India OBC Students Association, has to say on the alarming rise in the caste dropouts in institutions such as the IIT. There are so many issues. One particular issue is uh, regarding the fee structure in IITs. And apart from IIT, even in IIMs and other places also higher education institutions, are having the high uh, uh, fee structure. Second thing is uh, regarding the uh, uh, discrimination that is there. Uh, being These students are being called as quota students and there are so many discrimination based on their names, based on their uh, category, based on their uh, food habits. Even if you can see in IITs, even eating non-veg is a, become, become a very big issue. And third important thing is there are no supportive mechanism because these students are from first generation students and there is no proper uh, backup, uh, maybe the uh, encouraging encouragement from the institution because they are considered as equivalent to uh, students coming from elite background, from uh, urban background. These rural students from marginalized sections are considered on par with urban elite students who are actually uh, gone through uh, good education and English medium schools. Sarkar in the session also emphasized how the government has taken measures such as fee reduction, the establishment of more institutes, scholarships and priority access to national level scholarships to aid students from poor financial backgrounds. But is it enough? Swapnil, a PhD student from IIT, answers this question. Debunking this myth that uh, they are giving fee waivers. I mean, the fee waivers only applies to tuition fees. And the rest of the fees like mess fees or uh, even the hostel fees and, and all the other institutional fees, a student has to pay one way or the other. And that is in itself is huge. So to understand uh, why dropouts is happening, uh, like let's suppose talk about IITs. IITs are having B.Tech, M.Tech and PhD students and uh, I'm assuming most of the dropouts are happening in uh, uh, Masters and PhD students uh, because one can under simply understand that uh, these are the students who have already having a graduation and uh, suppose if someone is not having that kind of family background where th their family can support them financially for a longer time uh, they are expected to earn and so the government must see ki what are the incentive which they are giving to the master student or even a PhD student. So the government uh, needs to understand what they are trying to do with this idea of education where they are trying to portray uh, that education is something which they are selling and uh, students are buying it and then they are getting some kind of job from that. Uh, so they are get basically getting returns from their investments. So as long as this kind of model exists within education, people would be uh, obviously a uh, major section who are not that kind of financially supported uh, would be dropping out from that. That's it for today. We will see you again tomorrow. Till then, take care and stay safe.